Terry, what are we doing today? Uh, well, we're redoing the church sign here at Southern Duff Church Wicca. Uh, I had to contact the mayor to find out what we're going to do is we're digging a foundation to pour concrete in so we can take these concrete blocks. We've got about 30... 34 of them over there. What we're going to do is we're going to build a 15 foot tall obelisk out in front of the entrance to the church. And then we're going to put the new church sign that we're having made on front of that. How tall is our arbor right here? The arbor here is about nine foot six. Nine foot six. How, how tall is the obelisk going to be? Uh, right at... Uh, 13, 14 foot, depending on the block. All right. I told the mayor, when I asked him if I had to have a permit for this, he said, let me look at the ordinances. He said, I can't find anything in the ordinances that says you can't do it, so therefore you don't need a permit. I said, okay. I said, basically, you, don't, you can't deny us that because the obelisk to a Wiccan and pagan community is the same thing as a steeple on a Christian church, but instead of being on top of the building, it's set freestanding in the ground. Anyway, right. okay, so yeah, you're good to go. I said, so if anybody calls you and says we're building stuff, tell them you already talked to me and we don't need a permit and we're perfectly legal to do it. So that's what we're doing today. Digging the hole out, we're gonna set a good solid two foot deep concrete foundation, let it set up. Then we'll start laying the block up and come up to a 15, at least a 15 foot tall obelisk. They'll have the church sign on the front of it and uh, lettering down the side. So that's our game plan. So that's what we're doing right today is getting this ready to pour, mix up the cement and pour us a good solid foundation. It'll hold this thing up for probably the next hundred years. So Okay. <laughs> that's uh, what we're doing today. On to the next step. On to the next step. So what are the boards for, Terry? Yeah, that's a frame so I can level out the concrete once I get these level. And get them in here perfectly leveled and nailed in when we pour the concrete. And I screech it across the top. Then it'll be level when we start laying the block after it sets up. Awesome. <laughs> Trying to get my boards level so when we pour this out, I have a level foundation to start laying the brick off of. Dump it in there. <laughs> okay. We'll go to the next bag or mixture. 
We got a big hole to fill. Gotta be just the right consistency. So we have reached the top of the foundation. Okay, poor rest right there. Yeah, we've got a little over 1,200 pounds of concrete in this hole. <laughs> and we're going to do for the foundation of the uh, obelisk that we're going to put up. So now you got to smooth it out. Yeah, I got to. Got my boards up here to level. It don't have to be perfectly level, but as close as possible. Close as possible. We may have to have just a little bit more, John. Okay. Yeah, about that same amount again. This will set up today's Friday. By Sunday, it should be ready to start laying block on. So then we, Sunday, we can start putting block up. And we'll have to do about four levels a day because of the weight. So you'll be able to do four block high a day, let it dry, then come back the next day. Cool. Hey. Doing a little more work at Southern Duff Church of Wicked today. Putting in an obelisk. This is the foundation getting it started. It's going to go up about 15 foot tall. Getting the basic block set today. So we'll let this set up and dry. And then we gotta go up probably about six more block high and put the peak on it. And then we'll have what is classified as a Christian version of a steeple, only it's Wiccan and Pagan. It's on the ground, it's an obelisk. <laughs> At least that's what I told the mayor anyway. 
and he said we didn't need a permit to put it up. I said, okay, we're doing it. Let this set and dry, and then come back, finish the top of it, get the point on it, then come back and seal the whole thing. And then we're putting lettering on it and a sign on the front for the new church sign. So that's what we're doing today, trying to get it done before the rain sets in. So what's the next step, Terry? Put the caps on on. That's what we're fixing to do right now. What you got there? Well, supposed to be some F26 to get to come out. So we didn't quite make 15 feet, about, is that about 10 feet, you say? I'm getting caps on up there, be close to 12. Close to 12 feet, yeah. okay. Here's the capstone. Nice little pyramid. So Terry, how did you make this capstone? Nailed some boards together and bored a mold. <laughs> so you had a form, okay. Yeah. Then you with some plywood, turned it upside down, and poured the mortar mix level. Very cool. All right. I'm gonna hop up here and look real quick before you go. This is what we got on top, doing F26. Don't need to drop the camera down in the hole, that would be horrible. It'd be a time capsule. Yes, it would. We are about to seal this obelisk permanently. So when it's all said and done, the inside isn't gonna see daylight until the end of the world. I think so. Let me come up there and look. That's an obelisk. So the pyramid doesn't actually come out all the way to the edge, does it? Yeah, it will. Well, now I'm going to mix up mortar to float that out. Oh, okay. Yeah, all the way out to the edge. And we're going to be putting symbols on the pyramid? Yeah, it'll be uh, on this side and this side. It'll say SDCW-ATC. And then later on, try to get stamps of the goddess symbol on this side and the all one on this side. Will the symbols be on all four sides? No, just three. Yeah. Leaves room for future possibilities. Yeah.
So our arbor dolmen is nine feet. Yeah. And so you can see just how much taller that is compared. So Terry, <laughs> we're to the last little bit of it now. Yep, final coat on. And then um, it'll be complete, we just gotta wait for it to dry. That'll take about 24 hours for it to completely set up and dry. And then after this, we're gonna put the sign on it. Right. We're gonna do some Brand painting on it. Brand new hand painted sign by Ashley Riley. It only took us five days <laughs> to get to this point from pouring the foundation. That's good, I can get there. Okay, is that it? That's it? Okay, cool. Don't need to scrape any more That's a nice looking sign there. Yeah. 
Now, how good is F26, Terry? I glued a two by four to a brick wall one time, and I had, it wouldn't come off. It splintered before the F26 gave way. Wow. We use this stuff to glue tack grip down on the carpet. And after it sets up 24 hours, you can pull as much stretch with a power stretcher on it, and it won't come off. Good. As long as it's catching the glue, that's all I care about. It's catching the glue. Alright. So this screw isn't a, a permanent no, part of the side. No, it comes out after the glue sets up. Yeah, we're going to do a little touching up on the yellow. Well, we got fingerprints on it, but... The obelisk is done. The sign is up. Five days getting this thing up. So, if you're watching the video and you've seen the progress we're doing, putting up the obelisk, getting the sign up, brand new entrance to the church. So, if you like our videos, what we're doing at Southern Dutch Church in Wicca, hit that subscribe button. We got all kinds of videos going on. Check us out. We got the Pagan Gardener going on about our community garden, our highway cleanup. We have videos on there about that. Some of the drumming circles we have, we're having those up. This is a project we decided to do, redoing the front entrance of the church. So hit that subscribe button, like I said. There's a little bell thing up there, a little dingy little thing. Hit that if you want notifications when we're putting up the next video. Hit that like button, that thumbs up. Tell all your friends about us. Don't come look at what we got going on at Southern Delta Church of Wicca. There is never nothing going on at Southern Delta Church of Wicca. 
So until next time, blessed be.